Hi, this is Joe Starkey. I've been the voice of the Cal Bears football since 1975, 48 years. Back to throw. Now he's going to start running, and he has hit hard at the 30-yard line. My heroes growing up were a guy named Jack Quinlan, who did the Cubs, and then Jack Rickhouse did the television for the Cubs. And I thought, what a great job those guys got, you know, sit, at, uh, sit out at Wrigley Field and call a ball game. And uh, what could be better than that? That'd be something I'd really love to do. The Cal job came up in a rather unique way. KGO, uh, I had run into Monty Stickles somewhere along the way. At the time, he was the sports director at KGO. And he asked me if I'd be interested in doing any fill-in. When they gave me the opportunity to do the uh, games, I jumped at it, absolutely. He had some iconic phrases and moments from the play and many others. And off goes to Lynch. Lynch over left tackle. Brings in the middle of the field. He's trying to outrun them all. He's down into the end zone. Touchdown Bears. What a bonanza. Steps up hit as he throws. It is complete. Getting free in the middle of the field. Now to the 10 to the 5 into the end zone. Do you believe it? Touchdown wow. Bears. Oh my goodness. What a catch and what a play by Deshaun Jackson. Been announcing games with Joe on and off since 1996. And Tom Kelly is not our Joe is awesome as a partner. He is he's a consummate professional. Second, he is a huge Cal fan. Like, he loves the Golden Bears. Should be a touchdown for the Bears, it is! If you follow football, college or pro, there's always been a game that somebody won with laterals. There's always been a game where somebody threw a touchdown pass that bounced around in the air in the end zone, and somebody hauled it down and got the score. There have been games won by somebody blocking a kick and rolling all the way down to the other end for two points to win a game. But there has never been a combination of winning the game with all those weird laterals plus the band on the field. Harmon will probably try to squib it, and he does. Ball comes loose, and the Bears have to get out of bounds. Rodgers along the sideline, another one. They're still in deep trouble at midfield. They tried to do a couple of... The ball is still loose as they get it to Rodgers. They give it back now to the 30. They're down to the 20. Oh, the band is out of the field. He's going to go into the end zone. He's going to the end zone. The most amazing, sensational, dramatic, heart-rending, exciting, thrilling finish in the history of college football. I mean, it's, it's iconic. We have his... Phrasing. I mean, it, we have pictures of it multiple places throughout the football facility. California has won the big game over Stanford. This is 50 years, and I've enjoyed every minute of it, but it is tough to walk away. Nobody's not going to take a fair test. Make, you know, I kind of missed up a little bit right now. There'll probably be some tears, I would imagine. You know, it's, uh, it's a longstanding friendship. It's somebody who I respect greatly, the person who gave me my start in broadcasting. <laughs> there will be other players. There were other quarterbacks after me, right? There were other quarterbacks after Joe Cat. And so there will be other guys that come into it. But to me and to all of those of us that grew up with Cal football, that have been around Cal football for all these years, there will never be another Joe Stark. I'm a typical uh, a maudlin Irishman, so I better have a lot of handkerchiefs ready because that's going to be tough. I have to say goodbye to everybody. That will be very difficult for me. Uh, he has a legacy that's a part of Cal football and will be forever. <laughs>